Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your friend Tim, aka General Abe, going at you with another episode of Don't Starve Rain of Giants here on 8-Bit Plays. Last episode, last episode, I know for a fact that we got a little bit more comfortable on our uh, on our resources here, as well as we got we got ourselves a. I'm pretty sure we got these two farms last episode, as well as this drying rack. But I'm not really sure. I know that last episode, uh, our goal was to make ourselves a better base, and I think that. Is what we're gonna content. That's the goal that we're gonna continue with now. Now, what I'm thinking we want to make is possibly another drying rack as well. We can we actually? Yeah, we can actually make another drying rack. But you know what? Since we can do that anytime we want, I'm not really gonna worry about that now. Um, thermal measure. All these things are really nice to bring up our sanity. So I don't want to necessarily make those yet. Uh, our biggest thing for now would be to I guess put up our defense oh we need to go for um we should really start going for uh, spider kills so we can get a few more uh, silk that'd be really good for us so hopefully I don't want to deal with a level three. Oh yeah this is just dangerous dude trying to kill a level three would not be good for us I don't think uh, we should try to find like level twos I'm pretty sure with the Football helmet that we have equipped to us, as well as this log suit, we'll, we should be able to get, uh, we should be able to take down two, a level two spider nest. So that's what we're gonna try to go for now. Uh, once again, the only reason I'm picking up these sticks is that is so that we're in a little bit of a better situation once we uh, actually head into winter. I want to have more than what is needed. And this adventure is probably going to cost us, considering we didn't bring any food with us, so that's a little bit bad. Uh, but what I'm doing right now, I want to head over in this direction, see if I can find anything interesting. Uh, Dylan pointed out to me in the last episode that if we give our, if we give like the little trinkets that we find in like graves and stuff, uh, we'll be able to um, give those to the pig king in exchange for gold. And I know we don't have too much gold. So that might be something I'll be interested in if I can even find myself the Pig King. Uh, I haven't seen him, I don't think. So uh, yeah, let's head up north a little bit here. And then I'm going to save this for later on. Actually, you know what, we can just saturate our uh, hunger now. Because I'm sure we'll find some more, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll find some more uh, berry bushes along the way here. Uh, but I was watching YouTube videos on Don't Starve earlier today. And I saw a uh, video created by Komeni182, if you don't know who he is, uh, definitely check his channel out, K-O-M-E-N-Y-182. He's an epic Don't Starve uh, creator. He's not American, so he doesn't really, uh, not, not that there's a problem with this, but he doesn't really talk in any of his videos. I guess that's just his, uh, his preference. I don't think I've ever heard him talk in his videos. Uh, but he made this really awesome video. Um, video giving a little bit of a strategy on how to actually kill a uh, a firefly or a dragonfly whatever it is this fire spitting giant uh, so I might want to be I'm a little bit interested in using the strategy that he used if, if you want to find that video uh, it's a little bit hard to explain but it's definitely on his channel and that should give you an excuse to head over there uh, if you go over there tell him that in the comments that Ape of Play sent you it, it, it helps me out and uh, it helps the channel get a little bit more known by some of these bigger YouTubers. Let's go ahead and find ourselves, if we can, let's go ahead and find ourselves, if we can, some, oh, we, oh, crap, let's just eat this. Let's put you there. Let's uh, set up our inventory a little bit more. I know there's probably rabbits in these, yeah, there's two. Okay, so, Go ahead, dump this cut grass in our chest here for materials, and kill you. Drop you in there. So you're really finding anything. We we did explore a little bit more in that direction, so that's nice. I'm gonna keep this here for now, just because we can. Let's put you there. Grab that. And then what I'm thinking we do is uh, we make ourselves this third drying rack. 
I set up my base in a little bit of a uh, idiotic way here, kind of, because uh, once we get in, if we get to the second win uh, summer cycle, we're actually not going to be able to uh, make ourselves a fully function. We'll still be able to make it, but we won't be able to make ourselves a uh, fully functional ice fling matic because the way this is set up, it kind of lent it kind of lends itself uh, to a setup that's not going to really allow us to use the uh, Ice Flingomatic in its full potential. What I mean by that is, if you put the Ice Flingomatic here, it's going to take out the fires that we put up. If we put our Ice Flingomatic here, it might not reach like these. So the best place I'm thinking that we put it is like right around here in this area. I know it's not going to reach some of these and possibly not even our ice box, but it's worth it, I think. I mean, it looks like it. So that's something I got to worry about too. Uh, for the past few days, I have I've been actually uh, chilling on the uh, Don't Starve subreddit, reddit.com r slash Don't Starve, and I've been looking at people's massive bases, like day one thousand bases, and uh, seeing how they have set up their stuff. And I think I'm gonna model the way that I make my base somewhere along the lines of how they uh, model their bases. So that's gonna be pretty cool to see, pretty interesting to see. Uh, but what else is there? What else is there to talk about? I apologize for my voice. Uh, it may not sound like I have the strongest of voices right now. That's mainly because of the fact that on Tuesday, uh, I'm recording this on a Saturday. On Tuesday, previous week, uh, I went to a volleyball game for my high school, and I yelled so hard that I burst my freaking voice box or something like that. Pretty much what I'm saying here is I lost my voice pretty badly for like four days in a row, which is uncommon for me because... I could go on for days and days of just shouting and usually not lose my voice. But for some reason, I lost my voice during this uh, volleyball game. Uh, but whatever. It is what it is. We will survive this. We're getting closer and closer to day 50, which makes me not super worried, uh, but a little bit worried on the fact that we're probably going to come close to encountering our first giant probably around the day 51, 52, or 53 uh, cycles. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see how we fight that. I want to make myself another football helmet before that actually happens just in case uh, we, end we find ourselves in a tough situation. But what I want to do right now is I actually want to make myself a shovel so as to do a little bit of... Uh, bringing my uh, materials closer to base, uh, my resources closer to base. So I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging this up. I feel like this would be a good idea for us. And then with this, we should be able to get ourselves way more material than we had. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm pretty much picking up these grass tufts to move them a little bit closer to my base so I don't have to walk as far. Uh, I saw this done in a few bases, actually, um, on Reddit. Uh, so I think this is how I'm, I'm going to do this. It's probably going to be a good idea for us to do this. And then there's a few things that I want to finish with before we actually head into our next, uh, before we head into our next major season, like winter. Uh, once we hit winter, we got to buckle down. We got to start making ourselves a ton of traps, a ton of pretty much everything. We need to seriously increase our, uh, we need to increase our uh, food supply. Oh crap, wrong thing. Yeah, we need. We should really start in increasing our food supply uh, once we uh, actually head into the next season. So that's going to be nice. It bothers me to have to keep doing this. I think about 15 of these are going to be fine. Probably. I got to really stop freaking picking up, picking up the cut grass. Or 20, you know what, it doesn't really matter to me, as long as you can get up the stuff that we need to get up. Dig, grass tuft, 16, ah, we'll make it 16, why not? We'll do an 8-8 eight, eight stack. Okay, cool. And then sooner than later, we're going to have to start picking up twigs too. Pretty much what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make our base a little bit better. Uh, because everything at this point is going to help our base. Anything that has any kind of benefit 
whether it be gathering resources or gathering food, anything that we can bring closer to our base at this point is going to be really beneficial to, for us. I really got to pick myself up some poop too. That's probably a good idea. Okay, one, two. Wait, did I plant that? Two, three. I, it just occurred to me that I can really put these close together and not have to worry about them. Four. I'm going to kind of put these also in a uh, little bit of a convoluted setup. I actually don't like where they are right now. Dig. Dig. I want to put these a little bit farther away from my main base now that I think about it. Okay, let's put this like right about, put the grass area like right about here. I think this would be a good spot for a grass area. Two, three, and four, and one, two, Three. I wish there was a way to make this sym symmetrical. Six. Seven. Eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, oh, dang it, dude. This is really annoying. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, that should grow relatively well. I can't believe it took me an entire day cycle to do that. That kind of pisses me off. It's fine, though. Let's fertilize all this with the necessary poop that we're going to need. And we're good. All right. I want to start putting up walls around my area, too. I think that would be a relatively good idea, also. Do I not have poop? Man, I definitely need more poop. Need to grab more crap. Literally more crap. It's probably going to be a good idea to get a lightning rod over in that bottom area, too. Okay, so the goal right now, let's get ourselves some food. And once we do that, we should be solid, honestly. The goals right now before day 50 is to get as much done possible. And I realize you only have pretty much one day cycle until day 50. Uh, so the goal right now is to grab as much as we physically can uh, to pick ourselves up a little bit into a little bit more comfortable place because I'm really determined to get myself to day 100 this run I really am I really am determined to get myself to day 100 and I'd be really sad if I didn't get it I really wanna I really need to uh, pick up some more logs pretty soon here it's probably gonna be a good idea for us kill 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 and then oh crap we got more seeds Harvest this crop. Put that there. I noticed we're dropping a little bit on uh, sanity. So let's try to fix that. By standing a little bit closer to the fire. Alright, cool. But right now, I think we're in a fairly decent position. I don't think we're in a situation uh, that's going to lend us to dying anytime soon. Uh, really. We're in probably the best situation that we've been in. And it don't start running a long time, honestly. Uh, yeah, I really got to start using these stone walls. I think it would be a really good idea to get stone walls up pretty soon here. Let's also move that there. Okay. All right. Well, day 49 on the way. By the time we get out of this episode, it's going to be day 50, which is going to be pretty cool to see. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool to see a day 50, because I don't think we've gotten a day 50 run in a while on this channel. I think we've only gotten two major runs like that uh, prior to this one, since we're in season four of this series now. But hey, it's good that we're continuously moving forward. Reign of Giants has really not been too good for too good to us. Uh, since it's been out uh, before back in the uh, olden days of vanilla uh, pre reign of giants I used to be really good at regular don't starve 
I would get like day 300s, well one day 300 run. Uh, but now I can barely scratch the surface of 100, which is really, really, really annoying. Uh, this just shows how, how much harder Reign of Giants is compared to uh, vanilla. And I'm sure Don't Starve Together when it releases to public is going to be equally as hard. But for now, I don't want to worry about that. Or it's probably going to be even more harder. More hard, I apologize. Uh, probably going to be even more hard than this. So that's something to look forward to. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. Let's continuously move on forward here and uh, try to complete more things as we get closer and closer to winter. At least I'm hoping it's going to be winter. If it's not winter, I'll be surprised. And here we go into day 50. Oh, no, day 49, my bad. Day 49. Let's pick ourselves up some wood. We definitely need some more wood right now. Really low on wood. Really, really low on wood. Really gotta fix that up. Okay, let's pick that up. Let's pick that up. Chop down some more trees. More and more trees need to be chopped down. I realize that we don't have that many uh, trees near our base, which is something that I wanna fix too, because wood is something we've always had trouble keeping up with. I really should start to make tooth traps. Uh, a lot of high player, high uh, high day count uh, Don't Starve players use uh, traps a lot. They use traps a lot in their Let's Plays, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I think I might want to start getting myself up some traps. That'd be pretty cool. This is a very crucial day for us, and we're spending some of it chopping down wood. Classic, classic Tim. Classic Tim. This is a very crucial day, the day before day 50. Day 49 to be exact. Alright, let's go pick ourselves up some poop. And then let's keep going. Let's might, We might as well pick up this tooth because we can. And then right after this day cycle is when we start to make traps. That would probably be a good idea. More traps would be really good for us right now. I see a stray flower in the distance. It kind of bothers me that we didn't pick ourselves up. Oh, we don't have anything to keep us warm, I just realized. That sucks. I should really go for a qualifon pretty soon. Oh yeah, we definitely if day fifth if the next episode we can find a uh qualifon track, we are definitely gonna be going for a qualifon. Like we really actually need the boost that the qualifon is gonna give us uh in regards to uh our clothing situation. So we're not finding too many poops here, which sucks. Uh I, uh, I might as well pick it up now. I don't want to have troubles with this later. Be lucky. Be lucky. Oh my gosh, we found gears. Well played. Well played. We couldn't... Well, if we did get a gear early on from one of those tumbleweeds, we probably wouldn't have found uh, the big vault goat area that we did early on, or earlier in one of the last few episodes. So, I mean, I guess it's good that we didn't find... Uh, gears early on or else we wouldn't have had to fight to find to find uh, that big area Okay, so we got eight Poops we got eight poop Over 40 twigs and grass and then we got a decent amount of other stuff We don't have a full stack of rocks, which bothers me somewhat, but that's fine Okay Okay And then do I have some in there? I do. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, 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 well. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need to f pick myself up this. This would be good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the last use of a few traps. Uh, so we might as well start making some. Pretty sure that's that's on its last use right now. This one might be on its last use. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I mean, I might as well just drop that. I'm going to need it again anyway. Start picking this up. Drop that. And then drop that. Drop 
that, and then we should be able to pick our fill ourselves up on grass uh, from our little stash here. Nice. We're looking good. We're looking good. Okay. Boom. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Let's kill. Let's put you three in there. Do I have corn? Yes, I do. Drop that in there. Cook. Kill you. Put you there. And we're good. All right. Well, relatively productive day cycle. I'm putting fire on this early so I can shoot my sandy up a little bit. Uh, before the next day cycle, let's go ahead and plant also. And then eat if we can. There's that. And where else? Where else? Where else? What else do we need? We need poop. 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 Where you at? Thought I put you in there. No, you're in here. Yay. Okay, and then we can pick ourselves up poop anytime we want, pretty much, from the giant beefalo colony. So over here, it's a little bit hard to see uh, this little grass area we have for ourselves. Oh man, I don't really have a lot. That sucks. Fertilize, fertilize. Okay, I mean, we don't really have an, a lot of that. I'm going to start recording the next episode right, right after I finish this one. Uh, so I mean, hey. It is what it is. I really should be taking more advantage of uh, this, of this, uh, this ice chest, ice box. I really should be taking a little bit more advantage of that, uh, considering I have it. Oh yeah, what we need to do also, let's reinvigorate this, and then let's reinvigorate this, and we're good. Cool. Plenty of stuff. Plenty of supplies to go around. Really good situation we find ourselves in. And we're going to be saying hello to day 50 pretty soon here. Uh, it would be nice. Oh yeah, next next episode we're definitely going to have to try to find ourselves a koala font to kill. That's probably going to be really good for us. If you can find a koala font, we're going to be really solid, honestly. We are going to be in a really, really good situation. I want to bring my sanity up a little bit more than it is from right now. So let's go ahead and eat a beef jerky. Because that does wonders for our sanity. It brings up by 10 pretty much. That's good. Okay, so next episode, if we at all have the ability to, we, ladies and gentlemen, are going to find ourselves a koala font. That's going to be epic. Koala font's going to be really good for us. Especially if we get a trunk too. If we get a trunk, that's going to be really nice. I should find my food item, or my uh, clothing item, and see what I can make for now. Rabbit ear muffs. I think I'm going to end up making that, probably. Even though they don't last very long, but it is what it is. Um, puffy vest. There we go. Winter qualifying trunk. Eight silk. That's what I'm missing. I really am missing silk, which is super annoying for me. I really, It really bothers me that I completely forgot about uh, silk early on and I would like a walking cane too that would be probably amazing for us but it is what it is that is neither here nor there ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you guys so much for watching as usual my name is Tim aka General 8-Bit hello day 50 we meet again for it's been a while I know uh, but ladies and gentlemen I'm going to pick up next episode right where we left off and uh, we'll see you all next time thanks so much for watching